Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lorena. I am a first grade teacher in the state of Mississippi and if you're new here, welcome. And if you are not new here, thank you so much for continuing to watch even though I know it's been a while. So this week I'm going to take you guys along with me um, as I teach first graders this week. So it is Monday morning. It's super dark outside. Um, I have to be at work by 7 a.m. So here I go. are my math centers for the week and my literacy I still lay them out the same way I did in first grade I mean in kindergarten just a little different and I'll show you what that looks like okay so this is one of our centers just a little apple sort which I'll um, link it below and it comes with a little recording sheet I just put it up on a clipboard because the kiddos can do it pretty much anywhere and then I have these sorting as well and they're using that pocket chart over there to finish sorting um, I have this for the listening center. I'll link this below. This one's great because it has multiple versions of it. So this week we're focusing on sequencing stories. So it also has ones that just focus on who are the main characters, what is the setting, etc., etc. And this is something that I am so happy that I found. Um, I found these actually when we went on vacation. These are like little keyboard poppers. Kind of focus. There we go. And I was looking for keyboards online, cheap ones, because I keep seeing centers about it, and I couldn't find any ones that were cheap and like wireless. So I found these poppers, and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to have them. So I got four of them. Um, they also have these on Amazon, but if you find like a vendor near you, try to get them, because I feel like they're, they offer it cheaper if you buy more than one. And then I just created this little worksheet. So they're gonna pop these words. And then in the back, they're going to write a sentence and they're also going to be coding their sentences. So this is a great center. They're going to be so excited. And I have this center. Um, this is just write, find a number card and then write each word on the And these are the little cards. So they will write the words. Then they'll come to the writing center and then they'll write their sentence on here. Just it has six sentences, but of course it depends on the kiddo's ability, what they can and cannot do. And then this is a sorting chart. So what I have them do is I have a group of about three or four kids. So I have two sides. So one side will do it here, and then another side will do it here. This helps with behaviors. So I've tried to definitely do a lot of my centers, like how I did, how I ran kindergarten centers, which are very like hands-on and not just worksheet-based. Um, we do have like a recording sheet, but it's not just solely that they're either like manipulating some cards or some task cards in order to get their work done. I really wanted to incorporate that because I feel like that makes it so much more engaging. Um, but it's been a little bit trickier to find more hands-on um, and it's been a little bit tricky to find hands-on center activities that target these specific first grade skills which are a little bit trickier than kindergarten skills obviously but I'm doing what I can trying to make it so that they're like up and moving whether it's right the room or pocket charts or using like our different centers in the classroom um, to help them be a little bit more engaged and excited about centers um, and I do notice that they are really excited about um, as opposed to any other like fourth or base activity that we're doing, they love really like how much I love Alright, so this is like my active inspired thing. This is what it's posted up in the morning as soon as they walk in. Then this is our morning message and we've been having a hard time with number bonds. I'm trying to incorporate that just because after morning meeting we go straight into math. So it's a little way to kind of dive them into it and then I move this away and they're able to come on up and fill in those equations. Then we have of course our calendar. We have our little number of how many days have we been in school, so practicing you know, our place value. So we're going to be using cents to make the number of the date, if that makes any sense. We have our weather graph. This is Freddie Math, what we're doing for math, and it's clickable. Now this is what I'm doing for centers. I used to have it posted where they would have to go over there if you can see that and that was super confusing so now i just display it up here and they're able to just go on wednesdays we do two rotations i used to have five groups but i made it into six that way the groups were smaller and once i click over here it takes them to this super great timer 
which they love. It counts it down and then they have like the artist painting if you can see it and then it'll show them what he makes at the end and they absolutely love it. So we do that and then this is their options as far as what they can do once they're done. I need to come up with a better system but this has been working so far. Start cleanup routine, go noodle. This is what we're doing for phonics. So it pretty much lays out the entire day for me but the best part that I've come up with is this. This is like what I'm really proud of and what I did was I got this from a a cupcake for the teacher and I just snipped it and then I turned it into this um, which makes it a little bit more visible for the kiddos to see in a bigger version. Kiddos are about to come in so I'm gonna get ready for them and I will um, pick up the camera as soon as I can. Bye. Alright so it's the end of the day. I have my lights off because I just need a minute to chill. It's been a day um, the behaviors today were kind of like out of control. I'm exhausted. I have such a mess in my room right now, but I'm just like, do I go home and relax and plan from home? Do I stay here for a little bit? <sighs> I'm tired. Um, I don't know what it was today. Honestly, I felt like today was just kind of like controlling the chaos as opposed to like teaching anything really significant. Hopefully tomorrow's a better day. Um, but yeah, let's see um i'm probably gonna stay for just a few minutes clean up a little bit and i'll show you some of the things that we did today well like the things that we did get to which were mostly just centers and keeping kids safe and not going bananas they had to make worms and then create an equation based off of like the brown worms and the green worms and then write that down so this was pretty cute that they did and i did it really simple just on construction paper some brown some green and then they used some paint brushes on one of these little thingies if you don't have these i recommend these they're amazing especially when you're painting in the classroom it keeps things kind of organized now i'm just gonna hang it up over here all right so it's the end of the day i just got a parent phone call um it's almost five o'clock and i'm still here um i was getting like my active inspire my flip chart ready for tomorrow because that's kind of like what's guiding everything that i'm doing um there are things that i have to do but i didn't finish i'll do that tomorrow morning i hope um but yeah it's been a day so now i get to go home and cook and just relax i actually have to stop by the teacher to get some construction paper so my teaching day is not over yet but it will be soon um all i have to buy is um anchor chart paper and sorry this is correct. i have to buy anchor chart paper and construction paper but let's see if that's all you leave with <laughs> hello and happy tuesday um it is the morning tuesday morning um i just got into my room a little bit later than expected but here i am um i'm just gonna get some things ready and take a step back and i'm gonna plan out my day a little bit differently today um, i'm gonna spend some time on talking to kiddos about expectations um i want to do some like social emotional learning with them i feel like i need to integrate that into my daily daily practice i do so very informally but i definitely want to set a block of time to do that because i feel like i'm having a few challenges with behaviors and kind of classroom management and them listening they're very chatty they're so sweet but they're just super super chatty um especially during whole group instruction or anytime i send them to their desk they're just chatty all the time so i need to figure something out i do have some like whole class incentives and then um, we do the clip chart, which I feel it's like a school-wide thing, which I have mixed feelings about. Um, so that's the thing, but I try not to use it as much because I just don't like the whole like, you're in red and you're on purple and uh, it's so tricky. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be intentional today about where I'm placing the kids, where they're sitting on the rug and like going over expectations a little bit more in depth before any transition and stuff like that. So let's see if that works. Um, and this is what we're doing for writing centers so kids are going to write a sentence after they go around the room and i leave the answer key here this way they're not asking me if everything is right they can come here and independently check with some resource cards up here it's our writing center if you guys could see how crazy they have this set up it's pretty funny um but yeah it's the end of the day it went much better today um than it did yesterday i think it's because i came in kind of like with a different mindset as far as how to approach things there was so much positive praise throughout the day which i think helped a lot and i just kind of kept my cool i just have to keep reminding myself like they're six years old they're six years old um yeah it went much better we didn't do anything really too exciting or fun just because we had a lot of things we had to get through um, first grade is a totally different ball game when it comes to like tests and what they're expected to know i'm just like oh my god these poor babies um but yeah we did um centers which friends 
to the afternoon because we did journal writing, um, which they absolutely love. I wanna show you something that I use that helps me and it just helps me with my sanity. This is like our little writing center and I have all the words up there and then this is their journals obviously. But then I have these um, like picture dictionary things where it has like a whole bunch of topics. So like they pick a folder and this will inspire their writing and then they can just use these words to help them sound out words or get any ideas as opposed to Miss Alina's, how do I write this word? Or, or like how do I draw this picture? It's all there for them. Um, this way I can work like in small group with my kiddos who really need that one-on-one -on -one attention. And then my kiddos who are a little bit more independent but just need like a little bit of a push can just use that. They can just use that. And that has been a lifesaver. And then to check it, what I did um, today, I did something new. So if you can like, my back table over there I have like a little tree thing I have a little tree over there and pretty much I told them I placed the tree next to me and I said when you are done you stand by the tree and you wait for me there until I'm done with my little small group and then they did such a good job just waiting patiently um because I, and I think it's because they knew like what was there or whatever but they did a really, really good job and I'm super excited about that um it was much much better today um now I'm just kind of getting my a little flip chart ready for tomorrow that way it's ready and pretty much i just do the standard thing which let me show you now what that looks like so if you have active inspire you can actually import the like the kg fonts in here so this is what i did and um, what they're expected to do as they come in then this is like our morning message i always try to do like a little error that way they can help me fix it and we're focusing a lot on number bonds because morning meeting is right before math i incorporate this here just a quick little review we do our calendar, um, they come on up, I'll make this smaller, and then they fill it in, they drag it, and then I have them come fill it in. Um, we count by tens, we count by tens, we also, you know, see how many days we've been in school. Um, we do coins, so we make, we use the coins and manipulate that. Our weather graph, and then the really cool thing about um, this whole Active Inspire is like, so if I click here, it'll take me to the video that we're doing you're doing that and then if you click on this it'll take you to like a dry like a editable version of whatever it is that you're doing for math um, and the way you do this if you don't know is you have to insert it as a media and then you can insert the file and then it'll come up like this um, I do the same thing here so this is how we do our center rotations I think I showed you before and this is what they're doing when they're done clean up and then I did just click here and we'll get ready go noodle which of course that doesn't fail now you can do it so cute so that like so I entered an image of a crayon and then you can go insert link to the file and then that way like whenever I click on the clay on the crayon it'll connect to whatever file I picked and it just kind of helps me map out what it is that we're doing and then we have language and it's just pretty simple and that helps me through the day and that's pretty new because before I was just kind of winging it which I don't know who I thought I was but yeah that's been working much better well, I am about to head out I'm actually gonna go to teacher's store because yesterday when I went it was closed so I'm gonna go now and get some anchor chart and construction paper and hope that that's all that I come out with let's see how this goes all right so hopefully that's all that I come out with let's see how so hopefully that's all I come out with let's see how that plays out Hello and happy Wednesday. I'm here. I'm late. So I'm trying to like get things done before I have like three minutes before the kiddos get here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff ready. It's pouring. I had to go over and out to my car, get my phone because I forgot it and I need my phone. But yeah, I left this room in a mess yesterday and I'm gonna try to quickly do it before the kiddos come in. So here we go. This is one of the centers that I was telling y'all about. Telling y'all about. Telling y'all about. Um, it's like stamp popping words and stuff. And then I just made a recording sheet where they're popping and doing a really, really good job with this. Um, a lot of fun and it's very engaging for them. 
this is what my listening center looks like so that i just uh, i will assign something on epic and i just assign it and i give them like a little emoji i'm like okay go to the green app emoji and they do this i'm gonna link this too um this is great because there's different forms that they can do one of them was setting but this one's beginning middle and end um this is for my low group so they're just using links to match the uppercase and lowercase letters um for this group i had them sorting and reading some words but that was too tricky so we're just gonna go ahead and do this it makes it a lot easier for them and they're so excited because they can do it um i'll try to find where i found this but then these are just links that i've ordered from amazon this is another center that we're doing i told you we do two so like two kids will be on this side and then I'll have another two on this side, and these are like their recording sheets. It's a bit of a mess right now because we had to get stopped in the middle. We had to go to lunch. But this is, they're just sorting, and then what I do is so that they're not like telling me what is this word. Like sometimes they're tricky, so I'll just put it on the back. This way they can like self-check and self-correct. Um, and then they're just recording their answers on here, and it's pretty simple and easy for them to do. All right, so this is my planning period, and I just like needed a minute to just chill, like just relax. It's been a day. Um, we didn't have recess because it's been raining, so that definitely affects the kids. Um, we have been doing some cosmic kids yoga, which they love, but it's not the same. And then some kids like just want to sit out, and you have that whole thing. Um, so that was kind of like, you know, it wasn't a very successful indoor recess. But I got to figure out what I can do next time so that like all the kids are engaged and they're not just like sitting and doing nothing. I got to figure something out. Um, I did order some stuff, so when my lake shore order comes, I'm gonna make sure to show you guys. Um, but right now, I'm just gonna input some grades, get some folder stuff ready, and yeah, that's about it for today. And then afterwards, we're gonna do an Apple project, which I'm gonna show you, and I wanted to show you some, a really fun one that I did with my kids, which was like interpretive art, kind of. I don't know if it's the right lingo or word, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. They did amazing with it, and it's so much fun. It gets your creativity going, um, and I'll show you that in a minute. It's just the way that I get every time that I am with you mm. Your laughter takes me to heaven Hello and happy Thursday um, yeah, It's Thursday, it's pre-Friday, I'm really excited But today we just have not too much going on um, But, you know, normal first grade things Some testing, some centers, some activity We're going to do paint activity in the afternoon Which I'm really excited about To show you guys what that look going to look like um, and the kids are excited because they're going to be using pain. Um, it's probably going to be messy, but it'll be fine. Um, they need some joy right now. They haven't had recess for a while because it's been raining every single day. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, but on the game plan, we're teaching verb tenses, um, the H brothers, and just some math stuff. So yeah, here we go. It's Thursday. <laughs> So this is the apple thing that we did. So I printed in so I printed this on large paper totally by accident. And I was like, you know what? This is gonna work. So I got this and I will um, try to link this below. But pretty much what they did was they coded the sentence, they underlined the verbs, circled the adjectives, and um, did little mountains under the um, the verbs. So yesterday we just sketched the apple and then today we're gonna paint and we're going to label. <laughs> So this is how they turned out um so we just used three colors they labeled it um guided of course but they came out so cute i mean some of them are interpretive but they are so cute and this is the mess after that i have to go take care of now all right so i'm super excited about this i got my lake shore order um so what mississippi does is that they have something called eef funds so each teacher is given like a certain amount of money um i think everyone gets the same amount throughout the state um and we get to order stuff that are like instruct for instructional purposes. So I got my order in from Lakeshore. Um, so back in New Jersey, they had like a few um, stores, but here they don't have. So I just had to order everything online. So I'm about to show you all the stuff that I got. I spent like about $400 on this stuff. Uh, things that I think I need. Okay. Oh, all right. So I ordered these magic boards and I want to use these for centers um, for the kiddos to practice their spelling words or their numbers. I do have like the dollar store version, but on my experience, they did not work. This with the whole like lever thing to erase with the the thing doesn't work. I tried to use them in a the center and that was a nightmare. So I got four of these so that each kid can have one during a center. Okay, this one looks like it's a lot. This is the big box. Oh my God, this box is like, it's been So 
tell her to drawing paper because we do a lot of drawing and like writing stuff. So it's gonna be great for that. So I'm good. Oh, so I got these um, sight word cards. This is gonna be like an early finish that they can do. Practice their writing. These are dry erase, which are great, and they're already done. But, I got these pattern block design cards because sometimes when I give the kiddos a pattern block, they don't know what to do with it. So this will give them like something to do and it'll help with behavior and you know managing all that stuff. I even forgot I'm so excited. It's really Christmas. Okay. Oh, I got these little design builders for into a recess and I'm gonna put them over. I don't know if you can see it. Can I see it from here? On those like you can see. No, I don't think you can see it, but anyway, so you're gonna win some clear bins for indoor recess time. This. Ooh, okay, this goes with something else. Okay, I got dough cutters for recess, for indoor recess, um, because, well, I play those on the rest centers and also for fun Friday, because I was like, I wanna make this and that. Now I need to just get the little cutters, but I'll get that later on, but these are cute. Sightword bingo, this will be fun, like a quick activity to do with them. And since they're a bit older, they can manage this. Now I'm gonna have to probably deal with like who wins and who loses, but we'll get that one. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, I ordered some more dot art because we use these a lot. What are these? Ooh, I got these little chips, color chips, um, because I'm gonna bring my light table in. And this way the kids can make their numbers, words, um, designs, make anything on it, and then write about it. Lots of things with this. I'm excited. Oh, these are smaller than I thought. So I got these story stencils um, to kind of inspire their writing and help them. Um, a lot of the times they're like, I don't know how to draw this. And they take so much time trying to figure out how to draw their picture. And the great thing about these, if you can see here, it has like the words that they can reference to to kind of help them with their writing. Love that. Mm. All right, I got these geo sticks. And it comes with the cards. This way they can do this during indoor recess as well. So I got stamps. Ink pads, I mean. But I think it's stamps too. These are amazing. We have um, like cement walls, so nothing sticks on it. But these are the best. Especially like if I'm doing write the rooms, I'll just place them around and I'll just stick it in instead of having to get tape all the time. I got two. So I got two of these. I figured that the kiddos can share. I usually do four to a set, like I said before. Um, two kids will have these, and I got the ones. And these are good because it has like it tells them where to put it back. Um, I have the Target ones, but those don't come set up like this, so these are perfect for that. So two and two, they can build words, write sentences, all that fun stuff. Ooh, I'm excited to try these. I've seen this. Um, like other people use it, but Tim Ferriss paint. Um, I'm excited to use this during indoor recess or even like during the writing center. They can draw a picture and then write about it. I think this will encourage them to, you know, write. Um, I think this will encourage writing. So I'm going to be excited about this. I got some tag board again for to use with like the in Paris and watercolor and stuff like that. I got some dough rollers. And I got a whole bunch of construction paper. But I'm missing something. I'm missing the design. I don't think it's in here. Oh, I got more. So what are the other two? Right, I got a whole bunch of construction paper. Um, I got the regular size one in like the primary colors. these writing skill ones. Um, I think these are going to be amazing because it has a lumber line, has a number line, has a temporary. We can do this during whole group for math. A big one of this. this is the only one that I got big because I use this a lot for like layouts if we're doing parts of the flower, if we're doing like a scenic thing. I use this as like the backdrop. And then, so I got these. Um, which go with like this magnetic designer, but I gotta see what that is because it didn't come in here And I'm really excited to use it for indoor recess I'll try to link it here um, and put a picture right here somewhere so you guys can see it 
but I think everything is here except for that. And that's it for my little haul. I'm really excited about it. Hello and good morning. Um, it is Friday. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I'm here a little bit late as always. I I feel like every day I wake up a little bit later and later. But I'm just getting my stuff put away. Um, getting ready. I'm getting a new student today. I printed off some stuff from home yesterday. And yeah, I printed out some new labels for the cram boxes, which another thing I want to tell you guys is I had originally purchased a little clear box. Sorry. I had originally purchased a little clear boxes from Walmart and those were a hot mess. The little hook part was like very flimsy and like the kids were constantly dropping their crayons so i went back to my basics and i got the ones from dollar tree which they carried in white now so i printed off some of those little crayon labels um i'll try to put a little picture here of what they look like and yeah i'm gonna work on that before the kids get in here put my stuff away and um, we're doing an apple experiment today which i'm excited about it will probably go very very bad but we'll get there when we get there um i didn't i didn't test it out which i should have done but I'm going to live and learn today, see how that goes. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So, happy Friday. I left things unsaid And you cannot forget How my mistakes haunt us But do they really daunt us? Your tongue can be sharp You've cut me close to the heart But we can master the art and the thing is that these scars are scary, but they are just small scars. We should never be afraid of them. You and I know when we are too far apart, everything just falls apart. So I just close my eyes and dream. It's been, oh look at this, it's been a day. I'm happy it's over, I'm happy it's Friday. We did our experiment, I'm gonna try to um, put a clip in below. It was a lot of fun, it worked. Um, I didn't test it out, but thank goodness everything worked. You just needed to like kind of cut out the top of the apple, um, baking soda and vinegar, and it exploded, and the kids absolutely loved it. We did it twice, um, and it was very inexpensive because I had the parents bring in the apples, well, send in the apples, and that was great. Um, but now I'm just doing some things that I did not have time to do throughout the day that, it, that are due today, so I'm probably gonna be here pretty late. Um, and just trying to clean up because I don't know, you, you can't really tell, but this room is a mess. So I'm gonna try to clean that up and maybe, big maybe, I can um, get some stuff ready for Monday. Look at this, like, like it's just, it's been a day. Um, I'm happy it's Friday. I'm looking forward to, there's gonna be a taco truck at um, my little complex I'm excited about. I don't have to cook today. Um, but yeah, let me tackle this. Something I like to do before like I go home for the weekend is clear all of my center bins. Even if I don't have like whatever I'm gonna replenish it with. So even if my centers aren't prepped for Monday, at least these are all in that way when I do come back, I can just put everything in and that's it. So let's see. So I don't feel as organized as I was before, but pretty much I've just been putting things in Ziploc bags and then when I have some time, maybe during like our break will come and fix it but this is my little like shove everything in here closet and it needs to be organized because it's driving me crazy <laughs> 